Before you fill up a jug with whiskey, make sure you clean it out first. There could be a spider. That's the lesson from Band of Brothers, or is it? And curiosity might just kill you when you're out in the black of space. It's on Pub Songs and Stories, show number 236. Welcome to Pub Songs and Stories. This is the virtual public house for musicians to share the stories and inspiration behind their music with your host, Mark Gunn. Subscribe to the podcast at pubsong.com. Greetings all, this is Pub Songs and Stories. I am Mark Gunn, and I have a great story about a spider from Band of Brothers today. And I like the idea of playing a song that I could pair with a song from my guest or a story from my guest, but I could only think of one bug type song. So this is a song with lyrics that were written by Reese Sheridan Rose, my sometimes collaborator. We released this on my last CD, As Long As I'm Flying. This is There's a Bug in Cabin 6. First aboard a ship, journey to the rim. All oh, captain said one thing when first I met with him. There's a place you cannot go to if you wander through the ship. You always must remember there's a bug in cabin six. I'm not sure how it got there. I just know that it is. It ain't poor private Carson. Cabin once was his Then he shook his fist in the morning But I snuck down for kicks And peeked into the door hatch of Forbidden A cabin six The wind was quite filthy But I got quite a shine When I saw what they were hiding Behind the flimsy line Stood high as my shoulders on legs Like poker sticks with three full sets of chompers That bug Cabin six. I think I wound up screaming. I really think I did. Cause it looked right through me in the hallway where I hid. I ran back to my berth, the double locks I clicked so I would not get hit by the bug in cabin six. You may think it's just a story, a tall tale wrapped in song. But I will tell you truly That logic all is wrong Somewhere in that wasteland In the black starry mix That ship is still a sail With the bug in cabin six You may think it's just a story A tall tale wrapped in song But somewhere in the black That bug is sailing on The lyrics, of course, were shortened to make it run a bit smoother. I think there was like, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 verses. <laughs> it was a lot of verses. I was, I, it just too much for me. I was like, I, I can't do this. So I decided to shorten it with her permission. Had to make sure that I got Private Carson's story in there. That was the main thing she asked me to fix. So today's show is, of course, brought to you by my Gunrunners on Patreon. There's a new MP3 of Finnegan's Wake up on Patreon that you can get this week. And I am performing at Dragon Con this weekend. I have a show of Firefly drinking songs and cat songs. They're both on Friday. Those are my solo shows. If you uh, are at the convention, you'll find all of the details, my complete schedule, including the shows with the Rob Nagy and Bards over at thebards.net forward slash Dragon Con. It's been a bit of a weird week. As expected, my girls got sick at school. And that just sucks. But as unexpected, I think I had a good two weeks of actual work that I got to do before they got sick. So, yay! <laughs> I think I'm picking it up too, but whatever. <laughs> I'm also starting to do some planning for my Celtic invasion of Scotland and the trip that my family and I are taking afterwards. So, uh, I can't wait to get all that stuff worked out. Just I'm just so jonesing for travel. <laughs> you know, we get a little bit around town, but it's just not the same. <laughs> all right. There are at least two sides to every story, and the Band of Brothers share both on their song, Whiskey Spider. I'll let them tell you the story and sing the song for you. Greetings, Mark, the Celt father. Uh... We're here with some of the guys from Band of Brothers. Uh, This is Sean, and I'm here with Chris. Hey. And Anthony. Hello. And uh, we're here at Anthony's house, which was the scene of the crime uh, for the genesis of the Whiskey Spider. Um, So we'll 
we've got a couple different versions of of what went down. So um, I guess I, part of it, and I, I wrote the song, um, but Chris brought the jug. And he bought it and reportedly cleaned it out and filled it up with some nice whiskey and brought it to practice because... That's typically what we do at practice. Uh, we'll have some whiskeys and talk, kind of like we're doing right now, and maybe play a song or two. Maybe. Maybe, right. And Anthony brought down, he brings down some nice glasses for us and a bucket of ice uh, for those who care to have ice. And uh, we kind of prepared all the glasses. And Chris has this beautiful like brown and cream-colored jug and uh, we poured the whiskey out. Now, here's where it gets a little fuzzy. It usually does when the top <laughs> comes off. Um, but along with the whiskey, a spider came out of that jug and into one of the glasses. And I think this might be where we have some disagreement. Right, Chris? I would say completely wrong. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, wh- how do you remember it? So I would go to swap meets or whatever, and then, you know, with my girlfriend, and the only way to look cool is to buy a whiskey jug and walk around there to give you a hand card, you know? So I had a lot of them, and I decided I was going to bring in some whiskey for the band. So I went to all my, I had 10 of them by then, and so I shook the thing, and I'm cleaning them all out, and I picked the cleanest one. I fill it with whiskey, bring it to the band. Everybody pours it. Everybody's happy drinking it. And I tell a story about another jug I had, which had leaves in it. And I was shaking it, trying to get the stem of the leaf to come out. (laughs) And so finally, I I shake it enough, and the stem of the leaf comes. And I pull out the leaf, and it was a dead mouse. Everybody in the band did a spit take, (laughs) thinking I was referring to the jug that they were drinking from. So... In Sean's memory, or, you know, creativity, he, you know, Whiskey Mouse isn't as good as Whiskey Spiders. (laughs) So there was no spider. There was no spider. There was an idea. And I guess maybe the whiskey was so good that I went home that night. And since then, I've believed that somebody drank a spider out of one of Anthony's glasses here. And, And then I thought, like... That has some potential, you know, uh, because if you get bitten by a spider, you're going to uh, fall under some type of illness, much like you might if you get bitten by too much whiskey out of the jug. So uh, that kind of turned into an idea for a story. And the I guess the thing that, that kind of connects here is that we've got Total disagreement on what actually happened. And the story is kind of about somebody trying to make up a bogus excuse for getting too drunk on whiskey. So uh, there are lies everywhere here in the Band of Brothers. That's our bandus operandi, by the way. Right. Making up an excuse to get too drunk on whiskey. All right. So here it is for you, the whiskey spider. All right. So we've got uh, Anthony on guitar and whiskey. Chris on drums and whiskey and whiskey jug. And Sean here on banjo and vocal. And Chip is sitting over there just on whiskey.
whiskey spider bit me And when the venom hit me I saw things that you never would believe I had the devil at my side Swear to God I thought I'd die Oh dear Lord, what a tangled web I weave I had no idea the foul arachnid was a flow songs podcasts and for listening to this uh, now it's time to get back to that jug slanche band of brothers has some funny songs you can go check them out at bandbrothers.bandcamp.com and of course they are all over the socials and they have a regular website too you'll find links to stuff over at pubsong.com for show number 236 and i want to invite you to support what you love if the show makes you happy then join the gunrunners club on patreon your support pays for the production and promotion of my music in this podcast and if you have questions or comments drop me an email Mark at markgun.com. I'm not quite sure what next week's show is going to be about. I have two possibilities. I'm waiting for a, a story from someone as I record this one. So stay tuned for that. But come on back next week and I'll share more music with you then. I'll talk to you again soon. Slancha. Pub Songs Podcast is produced by Mark Gunn. The show is edited by Mitchell Peterson with graphics by Miranda Nelson Designs. You can subscribe and listen wherever you find podcasts. You can also subscribe to my mailing list. You will get regular updates of new music, podcasts, special offers, and you'll get 21 songs for free. Welcome to the pub at pubsong.com.